their best friend and sister, instead of touching one person, I've just touched maybe eight. And that makes me feel very good. But what I would tell your doctor is what I found in my practice is that by getting patients better faster and by empowering them to take care of themselves, their practice will grow. Because I get people better faster and they generally don't keep that to themselves. They're gonna say, you gotta to go to my acupuncturist, what she can do, and what I'm doing now at home, you know, and my husband, you know. Um, so I, I would, if anybody comes across that with a doctor, I would just say, you know, I know this acupuncturist, because you do all know me now, I know this acupuncturist, that um, her practice is just skyrocketing because she's getting people better faster. So I hope that helps. Awesome. I know this. My <laughs> colleagues are arrogant. <laughs> You're lucky if you find somebody who is going to give you a minute. So I suggest that you are going to pray before you are going to uh, talk. I suggest that if you decide to talk to your doctor, I suggest that you are going to pray before you are going to try to approach him. Right. And um, maybe, maybe you should say something. Maybe you should say something like, uh, would you be open to something magical that could transform your life and your practice? Uh, my, my opinion goes a few different directions with this. I feel that, uh, first of all, Omega is a marathon, it's not a sprint, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the longer you do this, the more you realize that that's true. You need to balance your whole life out and not focus on the one doctor that's going to make it for you, okay? You, you focus, focus on the 10th or 20th doctor that's going to get into your organization, not this one person. Okay? So when, you, when you're dealing with doctors, that's really important. A lot of people have been telling me they've been sending their doctors to the website, uh, quantumneurology.com, and I appreciate that. Uh, when you do that, please know what's there. Know what's there. Search the whole site. Watch every video on the site. Read everything. Because that way you're going to have a better understanding, and it would actually be nice if you have time with that doctor. Let's take a tour of this. I want you to see this video. If they're interested in spinal cord injury, if they want to see somebody walk after 12 years of being a quadriplegic, you know, we have a video of that. Oh my God. If you want to see uh, people after uh, severe brain aneurysms recovering completely, we have videos of that, okay? So if you know what's there, you, you know how to say, well, this doctor is going to be interested in spinal cord injury or this doctor is going to be interested in sport rehab. Uh, one of our doctors who's using this technology, uh, the last Beijing Games, in 08, his patients brought back 20 medals, okay? So we're talking about the best of the best. And they're using this technology in their practice and getting amazing results. So whether it's elite athletic performance or whether it's uh, severe neurological damage, we're seeing changes and we're documenting these changes and we're, we're sharing that with everybody. So please know what's on the website before you start referring people and have it more guided to what, what they're interested in. Excellent. Thank you, Doctor. Dr. Cohen. Dr. Cohen, what about the things you should not say to a doctor? Okay. All right. We will take <laughs> Okay, we'll take one more cuz I did throw that out there. Is there any what's the top if 15 seconds or less, Dr. Gonzalez, Dr. What's the what have you heard that have turned you off to this industry? Uh, I personally was turned off in previously when people were like, I got this product that's going to make us millions. And, uh, you know, for me, I'm, I'm, you know, that's not how my focus is, personally, on, on that direction. So when I'm approached that way, that turns me off. Um, other people might be all into that. It depends on the person, uh, but that's a personal experience there. Let me tell you something about the medical profession. <laughs> by the time they practice, by the time they finish school, they think they know it all. So who are you to approach them? They're not going to give you the time of day. Unless I talk to my colleagues 
and I usually tell them, let me take care of your patient that is incurable, but they won't listen. <laughs> Great, thanks. So, um, I just uh, while we're on this, <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> I would agree. So, the only thing I would add, just have been doing this for a while, is that um, you know when you're talking to a doctor, just realize what kind of doctor you have. Remember, all doctors are still the human. They put their socks on the same way. Everybody does the same thing. It's a, everybody's a person, and everybody's motivated by the same kinds of things and demotivated or unmotivated by the same kinds of things. Generally, people roll into four categories. Either they're health motivated, they want to help people, they're really into that. They're fun motivated, they're excited, they want to know that it's exciting, you know, that, that people are having fun. They're, it, then the, if, they're, if you're having a good time doing what they're doing, they're going to do it. Some people are money motivated. So they're, they're, they not they have looking at it like Dr. Gonzalez, but you know what? They're, they're looking at it as a business and they'll be great for your business. And at the same time, you'll be able to introduce them something that for the first time, they are spreading health and wellness while they're making money. And some people are very technical oriented where they don't really care about anything until they see a double line study, so they until they see the uh, pre and post changes on the different websites that there are, those kinds of things. So my best suggestion from my own personal experience is to know who you're talking to. Know what their motivating factors are. You can tell by the clothes they wear, the car they drive, the things they say, how, you know, uh, how, they, how their office looks, all that kind of stuff. They're just like everybody else. And if you're, if you're excited about something, if you got it for the product, and they are driving a Mercedes, and they have this pristine office with marble, they might be a little money motivated. If, there's, if they have like pictures and stories about 80 testimonials about people that got bad, better, and you're talking money, they're out of there. They don't really care, do you know what I mean? If they have bright and exciting colors, and it's fun office, and everybody's you know, hugging and doing this stuff, you know, I'll put them in front of you know, Lara, and they are all in. Do you know what I mean? So seriously, you know, I, the one part of this business, we are all in this together, is this one big Omega family. There is nobody, uh, there's nobody that can't fall in love with this business if they see the part of it that they love. And this business has everything for everybody. Always remember that. You know, people get on say, oh, I don't agree with that. That's great. That's great because you have someone in your group somewhere that will make you a lot of money, or it's someone in your group that will turn someone else onto your business that will save somebody's life. Yeah. Because they were money motivated, but it saved somebody's life. So the result happened regardless of your motivation. So remember, there's different flavors for everyone, and that's the beauty of this industry, in my experience. Uh, to add on to that, if anyone wants to add too, some of you guys, everybody on this on this panel, not just uh, clinically successful, but also been successful in this business, have achieved at least diamond. I know that Kitty Gen just achieved the status of blue diamond the day of the beginning of this. Congratulations, Kitty! And a lot of these docs did it while running a practice, full-time practice. Uh, real briefly. Any tips uh, to other doctors that are out here and people we talk to their doctors who think they don't have time to do this? A, how did you do it? And or why would you do this? Why does somebody do this business if they already have a successful practice? Hi. Um, why I do this business and put the time into it is because I want to help people. I, um, and like I mentioned, instead of just treating the mother, because mothers aren't necessarily bringing their kids to me to have needles, you know, let's be honest. So um, even though I tell them I do things without needles. So instead of just touching the mother, she takes it home, treats her kids, her neighbor. I've touched eight people. So to make that even broader, when I go to a doctor's seminar or I walk into a doctor's office or a colleague's office, again, I'm not touching that one person, that one doctor. I have the potential to touch their entire client base. And then when I go to a doctor's seminar, I mean, it just spreads, it just multiplies like that. So you get it to a billion, absolutely. I'm all for that. Awesome, awesome. Um, I'm with Kitty as well. Uh, my mission is really to help as many people as I can. And Dr. Uh, Cohen talks about the, the Latin word for doctor meaning docere to teach. That's what I'm all about. I mean, if I can, seriously, if I could, uh, you know, I, I've spent all the money, I've paid all for all the education, but if I could open up my brain, put it in a USB port, plug it into you right now and share everything I knew, i do it for free. Because it's, I mean, what we do is freaking rocks. Okay, but, um, 
so what the wand does, it gives us the ability to do that. It's not a USB port, but it's something I can give to people, and they can go home and they can do some pretty amazing, amazing things. And I, you know, I mean, it almost brings tears to my eyes to see the fact that you know um, we're going to be able to help so many more people. So I think that's what gets me excited. And um, again, you guys don't have to go through this school like we do. Please be happy you don't have to. So uh, that's that's why I'm excited. Awesome. Thank you. I might as well tell you, I'm 84 years old. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> Although um, a life of ease and comfort is not me. I want to be challenged. And this is why I keep working and still working like it is now. Although I don't want this as a business to make money, I want to help people to try to turn them on to improve their lives and, and to transform them. situation. I have an extremely busy practice. I have a four-month waiting list. I've been teaching doctors for a long, long time at a multi-doctor clinic. I didn't really have time to do anything else. I, for sure, no matter what, when Jason Barreco first brought me this product, I was, once I got it, I was excited about using it. Really was excited about I, building a business until I got uh, what I also had an opportunity to do. And so for doctors, I don't know about you, I've been in this industry before, I've had success in this industry, I was busy having success already with another company and other companies, I have 2,000 nutritional products in my office already, I didn't even work for nutritional products. However, a couple of things, number one, which we're going to talk about in a second, is these products are phenomenal. Not just the self-care tool that everyone's falling in love with, but all we've been hours talking about the other family of products, not to mention the products that are coming. So uh, buckle up, this is going to be quite a ride with this company. Uh, one thing I really want to touch on for the doctors that look at this entrepreneurially, I was all in. I understand that, you know, we got to leverage our time. Doctors are still are not, you know, if you've ever read Robert Kiyosaki's books on the cash flow quadrant, we're still trading our time for money as doctors. We may get a higher amount of money for our wage than the average person, but we're still trading time for money. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old, you know, I'm it's emotional. Uh, <laughs> But I also love them, and I miss them. So, you know, when I have an opportunity to be in a company like this, work with someone like Jason, who I know what he's done in this industry, and then see what he's done for all of you. If you were here this morning, you have no idea what Omega Builders and what is going to happen with this company over the next two years. You know, to say you're going to get a billion dollar company and then to put together the infrastructure to make it happen is two different things. We are going to make it happen. And it's not gonna be without work and intention. And it's a damn good thing. We love this business. We love what's happening with people when they get exposed to these products. But I saw a magnificent thing about to happen, not just in the healthcare field, not just with every time that we pick up the self-care tool and a miracle happens with somebody, but to see people's hope come back in their life, the American dream come back in the heart, the entrepreneurial spirit woken up in an industry that's just been polluted with all kinds of garbage. To actually the beauty of this industry rise up again, all in some kind of concert like that, is amazing. I hope you realize what we have here. This is an amazing thing. I got that. I got it viscerally. And it is happening. So, 